all right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are just going to look at these two nice um, very special problems in log reading okay so look at the first one it says evaluate log to the base of three of log two sorry log to base two of five one two okay so what are we going to do there now quickly let's look at what we can do of this problem all right solution okay so we want to begin with that first one <clears throat> so what do we do <clears throat> here we are going to um okay we have log base three of log five one two to base two Okay, so what do we do? They say we should evaluate this. Okay, so let's call this x. And so let it be that we are looking for the value of x. Okay, so there are two ways or so that we can actually approach this. We can decide to evaluate what we have in this bracket. And if we do that, how do we do that? Try to take 512 to base 2. And when we do that, we'll get a value. And that will be around 2 to power 9 which if we take 9 to the back to multiply, then we'll have log 2 base 2, which will give us 1, and then we'll now evaluate log 9 to base 3 to give us our answer. However, I'd want to take this approach. And what is it? By definition of log reading, you would see that uh, uh, log reading, we, we are told that if you have log... Uh, log a to base x to be equal to n that this means that uh, x raised to power of n is equal to a so if we do that here you will discover that this is going to give us that our log 5 1 2 to base 2 is going to be equal to 3 raised to the power of what x and if that is true then at this point what do we do next so we can then decide to simplify this and if we simplify this we can see that uh, 512 is the same thing as 512 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 9 and um, if that is true then what it means is that we are going to have log 2 raised to power 9 base 2 to be equal to 3 raised to power x and what does that give us so we'll see that we are going to simply going to get that uh, the nine can come to the back as a multiplier and when that happens we have nine log two base two to be equal to three to the power of x and of course this is one so we have nine is equal to three to the power of x and so by indices we can take nine to give us three to the power of two and this is 3 to the power of x. So equal basis gives you equal index. Therefore, our x here is equal to 2. Okay, so and that is to say that this particular log redeem given to us here um, is evaluated to be equal to 2. Okay, so now that's the solution for the first one so quickly we are going to look at the next example that we have and that example says that we should evaluate log to the base of four okay let's try to write this out okay so we have Okay, so in this case, we want to, you know, solve this. That's what if the question says, if, if this log redeem is equal to zero, that we should solve for x. So we want to find the value of x that will make this log to be equal to zero. All right, 
So what do we do here? Simply, what we are going to do is to apply the definition of log reading which I have used earlier. So I would just uh, note that if this is true, then 4 raised to the power of 0 is equal to the number of the log reading. You know everything contained here is the number of this log reading here. So that is to say that log to the base of 3 and the number of this one is log 2, log x base 2, sorry. Everything here is going to be equal to the base raised to the power of the value, which is 4 raised to the power 0. And so at this point, this is equal to 1. Of course, we know that 4 is anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And then we're also going to apply the same definition. By that same definition, it means that 3 raised to the power of 1 is going to be equal to the number of the logarithm. In this case, the number is this one. And that's going to give us log of x base 2 to be equal to 3 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 3 in this case and again now we will also apply the same definition which will now make the base here raised to the power of three to be equal to the number and in this case the number is just the x which we are looking for so that means that our x is just simply equal to two raised to the power of three therefore x is equal to what eight and that is the required solution to this example too okay and that is all i have for you in this video and please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel share our video like and comment thank you have a great day bye